So if you're cutting your hair at home, you just purchased a new clipper and you have all these awesome hair guards right here. Well, I'm gonna help explain to you, you know, which guard you should be using and what does, or which does what, all right? So if you are using no guard whatsoever, right? You just take the clipper out like this and basically there's no guard what, to it whatsoever. And you can see in through here, all right, there's a little bit of a, a lever right there, okay? And if you use that lever, if you, if you push it down, that's gonna raise it up. If you push it back down, it's gonna close it. So if you have this guard or this blade, this uh, lever here fully up towards you, it's gonna be the shortest. You push it away and you can see this raise up. That means you're going to, it's gonna be a little bit longer, all right? But let's just say that you take this clipper and you go, oh wow, this is amazing. I just got a new clipper, check it out. So let's start with this and then all of a sudden, oh, guess what you just did? Look, look how short that is. Do you want it to be that short? I don't think so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom a little bit closer here so you really can see. Now, if you, have, have you ever had a hair disaster like this before where you accidentally didn't realize that this is what happens and then you just like shave a huge chunk? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> but now let's just say we push this lever, right? We push it away from us, then it's still gonna be short, okay? It's still gonna be short, but you can see here it's not as short as this, but it's still really, really short. So stay away from using no guard <laughs> unless you want your hair to look like this or like mine, basically. Mine is skin, I just did it today. So then that's that. Now let's go do a number one guard, all right? So a number one guard, which is, and everyone wants to know what I'm using. I'm using the wall clipper. Uh, this is the 100th anniversary edition. It's, it's a pretty expensive clipper, to be honest with you. And these are the wall, they call them metal attachments, but basically these are the metal attachments. They're definitely designed more for professionals, but if you have the money, then go for it. it I believe it all comes with one, with this case right here, which you can put them in. I did go and purchase a half, this is a half guard right here, which is really, really short. Um, and then a one and a half guard that goes between a, a two, or I'm sorry, a one and a two. All right, so there's that one. Now, here's a number one guard. Now, a lot of people think, oh, I want to have it a little shorter. Let's start with a one guard. This is what a one guard is going to do. All right, here's a number one guard right here. So, as you can see, it's still short-ish. So again, stay away from a number one guard if you don't want to see the scalp. You're going to see the scalp if you're using a number one or anything in that family, all right? If you raise the, the or push the, the lever away from you, remember this is towards you, it's shorter, away from you, it's gonna be longer. You're basically gonna get, it's gonna look like a number one guard, okay? But it's just gonna be a slightly, slightly longer. When does this come in handy is when you're trying to cut your own hair at home and you want to kind of gradually go from a one to into a two. And that's where the one, and a, the one and a half comes in right here. The one and a half basically is like a transition going from the one into the two. All right, this is a, this is a great guard right here. Really, really great guard. You usually have to purchase it separately. It doesn't always come with, it doesn't ever come with the clipper kit, but I purchased it separately. All right, so now here, here's the guard, and this is the, the, the number that I start to really like and feel more comfortable with as far as, for someone who wants it still short-ish, but not like seeing a whole bunch of skin. So this is a number two guard. Many of you would probably use a number two guard. Let's see what this does, if it even does anything. All right, so you can see here, it's barely doing anything, all right? So a number two guard, is, and this is basically six millimeters, all right? Everyone wants to know other millimeters or inch. This is six millimeters or quarter of an inch in length, right? You can see it barely did anything to this. So a number two guard is really great if you want to have a short haircut, something like this maybe, but you don't want it to look like super, super skin tight, right? You can see a little bit of the scalp in bright, bright lighting, but in normal situations, you could see 
It's short, but it's not super short. So a number two guard is a great way to introduce yourself into going with a shorter type of haircut. And you can only, you can even just do it up maybe into here, right? Then what do you do? That's when we start going into the higher guards. Like here's a number three. Number three is barely gonna do anything. All right, so let's just do this right here. Here's the number three guard. I'm just gonna go up this way so you can see. There's some hair coming off, yes. But a number three guard, again, is a great transition to you know, working and blending in going towards the top. So it's shorter into longer. And then as you get closer and closer, I mean, this goes up to like a number eight. All right, this is a number eight guard. Let's see what that even does. I barely ever use a number eight guard. But if you're using something like this and you wanna get the job done quickly, let's try number eight. There's a lot of product in here, so it's not gonna cut as, as good. So number eight guard is just, it's leaving the hair, as you can see. So if you, if you want something that's short, a little bit more on the spikier side, or just shorter side in general, then maybe this is gonna work out better for you because what's happening is it's getting the job done much quicker, much more efficiently, all right? So that's the number eight guard right there. It's gonna take some hair off, but as you can see in through here, you know, it's short, but not like, yeah, it's short to some people, but if you wanna do it at home, you can go through all, this is an inch, an inch long. So if, they, if you want your hair an inch long, use number eight guard or basically 25 millimeters. That's what this number eight guard is. And yes, this whole thing comes with that. It goes from one all the way up to eight. All right, so in a nutshell, let's back up a little bit. That's the best way to understand using clippers and clipper guards. The, short, the, the lower the number, AKA one, the shorter the hair's gonna be. The longer the number, or the higher the number, like number eight guard, the longer the hair is gonna be. So there's, you know, you're going from a quarter an inch all the way to an inch in length. Doesn't sound like a whole lot, but when you're cutting hair, all those sections and those different lengths matter a lot. So let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful, uh, whether you're cutting your hair at home or whether you're, you know, entering into the beauty industry. I know a lot of people are afraid of using clippers, especially for hairstylists. They get a little intimidated by clippers. They're not really too big on men's cuts, but hopefully this helped you understand you know, the, the, the difference between the guards. Now it's just a matter of practicing, watching videos online and trying to just really maybe get some mannequins and get the feel. Clippers, in my opinion, because I've been working with clippers for so many years, it's all about feel. When you're using the clipper and going up and down, using the levers and just being more aggressive and feeling confident, that's what it's about. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.